Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. What if one protein could add years to your life while keeping your muscles strong, your bones dense, and your mind sharp? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and alongside me is Alara Skye. Today we explore Clotho, a remarkable protein that extended the lifespan of healthy mice by 20% while improving movement, cognition, and resilience across multiple body systems. We're going to look at the science, the practical takeaways, and the specific habits that let you influence this protein starting today. Clotho works differently from any pill or single supplement. Instead of treating one symptom, it helps you handle stress, repair damage, and maintain function in muscle, bone, and brain cells all at once. Your kidneys and brain make it naturally, yet that production depends squarely on how you eat, move, sleep, and connect with others. The new study published in Molecular Therapy injected the gene for secreted clotho into adult mice. One dose raised circulating clotho levels for months. Scientists measured not only how long the animals lived, but how well they performed daily tasks that mirror human strength, balance, and learning. Results were impressive. Treated mice gripped bars longer, navigated mazes faster, and recovered from induced muscle injury with minimal scarring. Their bones stayed denser, and brain tissue showed patterns of active regeneration, usually restricted to youth. Clotho didn't slow aging in one corner of the body. It rewired aging from the inside out. Digging into details, researchers saw sex-specific advantages. Males benefited most when treatment came at midlife with thicker cortical bone and fewer gaps inside spongy bone. Females gained more when clotho was boosted earlier, before bone loss set in, underscoring the importance of timing in future therapies. On the muscle front, clotho preserved mitochondrial function, the energy currency of each cell, keeping fibers large and strong. When scientists provoked injury, clotho-treated muscles rebuilt themselves much like those of younger mice, thanks to stem cells that stayed responsive instead of drifting into age-related dormancy. The brain showed parallel resilience. Clotho increased the number of maturing neurons and maintained astrocytes that nourish those neurons. It also activated microglia, the brain's cleanup crew, in a constructive mode, clearing debris without unleashing inflammation that can damage memory pathways. Behind those visible improvements were shifts in gene expression. Clotho upregulated genes that build collagen and bone enhance synaptic plasticity, and support antioxidant defenses. At the same time, it dialed down genes linked to fibrosis and poor mineralization, effectively tilting the molecular scale toward repair. Large observational studies back up these mechanistic findings. In a cohort of more than 10,000 adults, those with the lowest serum clotho faced a 31% greater risk of death from any cause compared with those at the top, even after adjusting for age, sex, and lifestyle. Clotho drops faster when chronic diseases enter the picture. Diabetes, high blood pressure, and kidney disorders all suppress its production. That's why researchers call Clotho a thermostat. It falls as your system heats up with inflammation, then rises again when the environment cools through healthier habits. Scientists can measure Clotho in blood, cerebrospinal fluid, urine, and even tissue samples. Across 65 studies reviewed in Aging Research Reviews, the trend was consistent. Levels slide downward as early as middle age. Tracking those numbers could help clinicians spot hidden vulnerability long before symptoms appear. While gene therapy remains experimental, the idea of a routine clotho test is gaining traction. Imagine combining it with your annual blood panel. If levels start to slip, you'd have a clear signal to tighten sleep, adjust diet, or ease stress before damage accumulates. That brings us to lifestyle. Your clotho levels decline with age, but they are far from fixed. Moderate exercise, whole food nutrition rich in antioxidants, adequate vitamin D, refreshing sleep, and meaningful relationships all switch clotho on. Poor sleep, chronic stress, smoking, or pushing workouts to exhaustion switch it off. A 12-trial meta-analysis confirmed the exercise link. Aerobic sessions like brisk walking or cycling and resistance training such as body weight movements both elevated clotho, yet extreme training under heat stress, similar to military drills, reversed the benefit. 
proving that more isn't always better when the goal is longevity. Nutrition offers another handle. Large cohort data tie higher clotho expression to diets abundant in fruits, vegetables, and fermented foods. Antioxidants, vitamins A, C, and E, plus minerals such as zinc and selenium, consistently show positive associations. A Mediterranean-style plate of colorful produce, olive oil, and minimal processing stood out, whereas strict low-carb patterns sometimes suppress clotho. Laboratory work adds nuance. Compounds like curcumin, the bright pigment in turmeric, and vitamin D directly activate the clotho gene in cell studies. Sunshine remains the most reliable source of vitamin D. A brief daily exposure before peak heat hours is usually enough, while balanced supplementation can fill winter gaps. Sleep duration is another lever. Observational studies found clotho dipped when nightly rest fell below five and a half hours or rose above seven and a half. The sweet spot is a steady routine that allows you to wake without an alarm and wind down without screens or stimulants. Social factors weave into the story. Caregivers under constant strain, soldiers facing chronic pressure, and adults reporting loneliness all showed lower clotho. In contrast, emotional closeness, even a single dependable friendship, was linked with higher levels midlife, illustrating how biology rewards genuine connection. Risky habits blunt clotho's edge. Cigarette smoke, heavy alcohol, and frequent cannabis use introduced either declines or unstable spikes that fail to confer lasting protection. Over time, those stressors overload the repair systems Clotho tries to safeguard. Because Clotho mirrors overall well-being, future therapies may begin by establishing your personal baseline and then tailoring activity, nutrition, and recovery to keep that number high. The research message is clear. Lifestyle is medicine for your longevity switch. And while gene therapy succeeded in mice, it is not yet approved for humans. That means the power sits with your daily routine. Move consistently yet moderately. Savor colorful whole foods. Include fermented items. Absorb natural sunlight. Keep sleep steady. Nurture relationships. And step away from smoking and excess alcohol. Before we set your weekly challenge, consider why these habits work together. Moderate exercise flushes inflammatory byproducts. Antioxidants neutralize free radicals. Sunlight raises vitamin D and sleep allows cellular repair. Each lever feeds into Clotho's network, and the reward is coordinated rejuvenation rather than a quick fix. Think of Clotho as a conversation between your choices and your cells. When you take a walk, fill your plate with vibrant produce, or share a genuine laugh, you send biochemical signals saying, resources are plentiful and repair can proceed. The protein responds by lifting defenses against frailty, cognitive decline, and metabolic stress. Let's turn that into action. Over the next week, pencil in three half-hour moderate workouts, add a fermented food, like sauerkraut or kefir, to each day, and spend 15 minutes outdoors before noon. Track how you feel, knowing these shifts nudge your cells to produce more clotho. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.